Hello, everybody, and welcome to example two on page 44 of the workbook. And here's an example where we're going to try to take the derivative of a function. And most of the problems that I ask you to do in, these, in this section are going to either involve the product or the quotient rule, maybe both. Okay, so let's look at the function that they're giving us here. And as you look at that, if you had to choose between the product and the quotient rule, which one would you choose in this case? I'm seeing a product of two functions, so probably the product rule is the better choice here. And if we just scroll up and take a look at it, the product rule told us that if you start with the product f of x times g of x, and you want to take its derivative, you're going to take the first function times the derivative of the second and add it to the second function times the derivative of the first. Okay, that's what we want to do. You can see the first and the second function as being this piece times this piece. In our, in our particular function. Okay, so when we take the derivative, we are going to have the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative of the first. Okay, there's our starting point. Okay, and then if you take a look at what we've got here, Notice that there are a couple of pieces that are already done. So the 1 plus sine 3x and the 2x squared minus cosine of x, we don't need to do anything. There's no derivative to take of those two pieces. They're done. What we do have to do to finish this problem is to take these two derivatives that I'm underlying, underlining. Okay, so let's rewrite the 1 plus 3 sine of x that we're done with. And then how do we take the derivative of this 2x squared minus cosine of x? Well, the derivative of the 2x squared by the power rule, that's just going to be 4x. Then what about the derivative of minus cosine of x? Well, let's factor that minus sign out. And then you might remember from the last section that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay, so we're going to get 4x minus negative sine of x. Then we come to the 2x squared minus cosine of x, which is already done. Nothing to do there. And finally, we need to take the derivative of 1 plus 3 sine of x. What's the derivative of 1, first of all? That's just 0 because it's a constant that's by itself. And then plus 3 times, last thing to take the derivative of is cos sine of x, which is going to be cosine of x. Okay, and 1 last rewrite here. Okay, see if we can do just any basic simplifying here. So 4x minus negative sine of x, we may as well write that as 4x plus sine of x. Okay, plus 2x squared minus cosine of x times 3 cosine of x. Okay, and you can look at that and notice that we have taken all of the derivatives. There are no d dx's left in that equation, and so that would qualify as a final answer. Okay, and one remark that I might make here is that that is an acceptable answer that we just wrote. We, we, we would not bother to simplify this answer. Okay, kind of the, the advantage of having something like the product rule is it allows us to take a derivative without having to do a bunch of simplifying. So we are totally satisfied leaving our answer like this in this case. 